Hey guys, and welcome to another Learn the Game Capsule. I bet by now you've all seen influencer marketing at work. I mean, it's all over our news feeds, our social media pages, and marketing campaigns, sponsorship deals. I mean, today's marketing influencers are a given. But maybe you haven't heard about this polar opposite trend that's coming out, de-influencing. De-influencing is a content strategy that gives followers cheaper and practical alternatives to expensive trends and products. And as of February 23rd, the de-influencing hashtag on TikTok has over 228 million views. So what's causing the spike in this new trend? And is de-influencing really that different than regular influencing? First off, the recent rise in cost of living means that people are looking for cheap, practical alternatives. I mean, people really yearn for influencers who understand them and their situations. Influencers that promote luxury brands like Kim Kardashian's shapewear products or overpriced Stanley Tumblr water bottles are disconnected from consumers' day-to-day -day reality. It's created a need for practical, relatable influencers, people that understand and appreciate the reality of their audience. The second reason for the growth of this trend is that trust is quickly becoming a rare commodity. People won't trust someone who is constantly promoting every trendy and high-priced sponsor. I mean, people right now are really craving authenticity. By taking a critical approach on products, the influencers have a more powerful and lucrative impact. However, many of the brands that de-influencers are promoting may also be sponsoring them. So what does de-influencing teach us? Well, first off, it's a lot easier to lose trust than to earn it. If you go around promoting every single sponsor that comes your way, people are gonna start to lose trust in you. And they should. It also reminds us to not become disconnected with our audiences. If our audiences are experiencing change, then we should change our message. At the end of the day, it's all about keeping up with your base. But what do you think? Is de-influencing really any different than regular influencing? Let us know your responses in the comments below. And thanks for watching.